Yo, what's good guys, I'm Spurcross, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Now, as you can tell from the title, today I'm going to be teaching you how to improve your accuracy on Call of Duty World War 2. Now, I've already done a part 1 to this video, so if you want to check that out, go in the description down below and click the first link. But on this video, I'll go a little bit into more detail and I'll teach you a few more tips to improve your aim overall. Now, if you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to go down there, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe and let's get into it. Okay guys, now you guys probably already know that having good accuracy on a game such as Call of Duty or any first person shooter for that matter, is really important it's probably one of the most important things you need to know because if you're spraying around the corner and you've got terrible accuracy you're gonna die a lot more you're gonna get a bad kd rating and overall the game's not gonna feel as fun so i've got a few tips on how you can improve your accuracy without spending a penny now the first thing that i'm gonna be talking to you about is your sensitivity now i did speak a little bit about that in the last video but in this video i'm gonna be talking a little bit more about it and i have changed my sensitivity since then so i'm gonna teach you a few tips now if you scroll down to sensitivity and you look at your vertical and horizontal sensitivity now what I tend to do and what I find is a lot better, find your sensitivity, whatever you've been using, maybe you're using 7, 6 or even if it's higher and keep the horizontal sensitivity as that. Now on the vertical sensitivity what I find better is if you take it down to, so for example my sensitivity is usually a 6 so on horizontal I'll keep that as a 6 but on vertical I'll put that as a 4 which is 2 down and the reason for this is because you're not jumping up and down like Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, you don't really need to aim up too quickly so by having your vertical sensitivity lower will make your accuracy a lot more on point and you'll find your accuracy will improve quite a bit now quickly guys i just want to say it may take a little bit of time to get used to because obviously you're not used to that but if you play a couple games you get used to it trust me guys it's gonna help you a lot now the next thing i'm going to be talking to you about is pre-aiming now some of you guys may know what this is some of you may not now what this is is every time you turn a corner pre-aim make sure you're aiming around the corner because this isn't like advanced warfare or infinite warfare you can't just jump around the corner and just spray anyone who's there so by pre-aiming around the corner you're gonna have a huge advantage over the enemy now as you play the game you get to know it a bit more and you get to know what corners people are always at so if you get to a turning where someone usually is at or you usually get killed make sure you pre-aim you crouch and you're ready for someone to approach whether they're there or not now quickly guys this isn't part of the tips but this is a little bonus for you guys now obviously the sight on the gun helps you a lot with your accuracy if your gun has a terrible sight you're not gonna be too accurate are you one thing a lot of people don't think about is your collections your different variants now on a lot of the weapons different variants have different sights maybe you have a different variant for the PPSH that might have a better sight for you and this will help improve your accuracy a lot trust me guys I've used this tip on quite a few of the guns and it saves you having to run a sight as an attachment which means you could use that attachment for something else a lot more useful now the next thing that I'm going to be talking to you about is tap fire now if you don't know what tap fire is it's basically instead of holding the R2 button on PS4 or holding the trigger button it's when you tap it as if it's a semi-automatic now this counts for any gun whether it's a fully automatic gun purely because if you're at long range distances when you shoot you have a lot of recoil now i'll show you that right now i'm aiming at a wall and when i just hold the trigger button you can see there's quite a bit of recoil now when i actually tap fire you'll see it's pretty much on target and it will make your accuracy a lot better now this helps on those bigger maps like gustav cannon and the two newer maps now occupation and anthropoid i'm not sure if i'm saying it right but you get the gist now if they're really fine you're not using a sniper if you just tap fire them you'll get a lot more bullets into them because your accuracy will be better i find it helps a lot on those long range gunfights okay now the final thing that i'm going to be teaching you is actually an exercise now now if you do this exercise about once or twice a day trust me guys it's gonna help you a lot and you may think oh it sounds stupid it's gonna be so easy but trust me guys it's gonna test your aim out and it's gonna make you a lot better in the long run okay guys now what i want you to do is make a lobby with bots now go into a game with bots as many bots as you want whatever you feel comfortable with but what i want you to do go into your settings go to anything that says aim assist there's two things that say aim assist and disable them because what this does it basically gives you a little bit of help when you're aiming and by turning this off you'll be able to see how good of an accurate player you are without the aim assist now if you play this once or twice a day you'll find yourself having a lot more better accuracy without it on so that when you go into a multiplayer lobby and you turn it back on your accuracy will be so much better because you've been training with it off and with that little bit of help by enabling it again your accuracy will be on point anyway guys that's the end of today's video if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to go down there smash the thumbs up on subscribe and if you've got any questions just comment down below and i'll answer them anyway guys until next time peace